Hello. I'm making a quadcopter and I figured it would be kind of cool if I tried to document it. Um, a little bit about the project. It's Arduino based. Uh, kind of the first uh, major project I've done with Arduino. I've done a little bit of the, you know, the sample things and everything, but the first major thing I've ever done. Uh, kind of the first project I've ever done where I've used mostly new components. Usually I use uh, things from old circuit boards and whatnot, uh, and just old electronics trying to figure, just trying to make it uh, without having to pay anything, but this time I actually shelled out almost 200 bucks. Uh, but, um, you know, like I said, it's going to be Arduino based. I'm going to use uh, a fake Arduino Mega for the uh, for the brain of the quadcopter and an Arduino Uno for the controller. So, this Arduino Uno here I've actually had for about a year, and uh, I got it from Radio Shack. I think that was $35, but it came with a free soldering iron with a sail, so it wasn't too bad. This uh, Arduino Mega, was well, it's actually a fake one I got from Hobby King, uh, it was $17. It's not revision 3 because it doesn't have the extended header, which kind of stinks. Because uh, it makes the I2C a little bit harder for controlling, for getting the information from the inertial measurement unit. But, $17 instead of 65 Yeah, I'll get the fake one. Though, the branding doesn't really make it obvious that it's fake. Which, I'm pretty sure is illegal. Well, that doesn't really matter too much. This here is the the inertial measurement unit, as you hopefully can see there. The SDA and SCL. Uh, that's how it communicates with it. Um, I still, I've only been able to access the gyroscope, but I'm hoping that the reason for that is that I just have the wrong addresses for the, the I squared C for the different chips on here. There, that's a barometer and then has an accelerometer, gyroscope, and electronic compass, magnetometer, whatever you want to call it. Then here are the RF mo the serial RF modules. Uh, the, this These two came together and they were 30 bucks. I haven't quite figured out how to use these yet um, but hopefully this will I'll get that figured out this over here is the serial to USB that came with that so you can uh, plug it into a computer and program the frequencies and whatnot but they, they should be on the same frequency already um, unfortunately I've only been able to find the software for uh, Windows with that and I use uh, I use Linux as you can see but uh, now let's get to the stuff that really is interesting this here is the propeller or the, the motor and propeller uh, obviously yeah, I need four of those and this one came out of that box, and those three boxes have the other ones in it. Uh, so it's just a essentially the the cheapest Turnigy motor, the, the the cheapest motor I could find that had the the right specs that I uh, I calculated I wanted, and then I have a a 20 amp speed controller and. Oh, where's my battery? Here we go. I got a Zippy 1.8 amp hour 3 cell uh, lithium polymer, so that makes it 11.1 .1 volts. And a nice little voltage alarm for when the, the voltage goes too low. Because if the voltage goes too low, then you can't charge these back up. So, so far, all I've done is... I've played around with the with the mega making sure it all worked and whatnot. 
and with the speed controller. And then I went ahead and uh, this is a bracket for shelves that um, I just had lying around. And I just took some wire, went through the holes, and twisted it up so it was nice and tight. Uh, the shaft going through there is a little annoying, but luckily it has some holes like that, and I can just stick that through. And with just the wire, it, it's, it's on there pretty strong. So the next step is I'm going to go ahead and connect all the, the other uh, bullet connectors to the wires because the, the motors didn't have the bullet connectors soldered onto them already which was 